Today I'm going to be showing you three different transformations which are rotation, translation, and reflection. I'll also be showing two examples of how to use these transformations. Now I know there can be two transformations in one question, just to let you know. So let's get started. So here are the two examples which I'm going to show you how to do. So what we have to do for the first one is to draw the coordinates on the screen. So here we go. So A, 3, negative 6, 6, negative 3, and 4, 1. So the next step we have to do is then translate the shape 2 units left, then 3 up. And what I mean by that is move each dot 2 units left and then 3 up. So watch. Right there. Here. And here. Here's your new shape. Now the final step we have to do is then rotate the shape 90 degrees clockwise. Now this can be hard. But it's actually pretty easy. So all you have to do is just rotate it 90 degrees. And so right about here. And then there you go. Now for the second part. So for problem two, we have to draw the coordinates again. So negative three, negative two, negative three, four, and then negative six, zero. So now the next step is now we have to reflect your shape across the y-axis. And what I mean by that is you have to reflect it off on this side right here. So like this. And there you go. You reflected your shape off the y-axis. So if you didn't quite understand it, I'll show you an easy steps and explain it a lot easier. So for problem one, for step one, we had to draw your coordinates on the graph as shown. And then step two, to move, you have to move your coordinates slash dots over two, then up three. Then after that, we have to then turn your paper over to the left to get your rotation. It's actually a lot easier on paper because, because you can actually turn it and see where it will end up next. For then step four, draw where your final coordinates are and draw where it is. And that was rotation and translation together. Now for problem two, it was draw your coordinates on the graph. Then step two, draw your shape on the opposite side, like where I showed you. And then step three, draw your new coordinates, and that was a reflection. Now this picture on the screen is an SMP, or standard math practice. Now you see at the top, it's its name, model with mathematics. Now you may be wondering why it, this is here. Now the reason why I chose this, if you look at the bottom, it says I can clearly show my work using diagrams, words, symbols, and pictures. Now different transformations is all about using diagrams and drawing pictures or shapes and moving them. And this is why I chose it.